everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I am back at you again with yet another DIY project, of course. So I'm going to get right into this DIY. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the supplies in the description box below. Okay, so I don't have to break down what I'm using. So uh, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is take two of your large floral wreaths. Now this is the hard foam and we're really going to need that because it's going to be a stand so we want it to be sturdy and we want it to stay still so um, the softer floral foam would not have worked. Now I got these 11 by, I think these are 11 by 8 uh, floral wreaths from Walmart and they are $3.47 each. So what we want to do is you want to start off by taking the first one and making holes in it. Holes in the shape of a diamond because we're only going to be using three of these wooden dowels. Now these wooden dowels were also purchased from Walmart. I believe they're 57 cents a piece. I'll leave the details for this in the description box below. But this is, um, I believe it's 38 inches and I cut off two and a half inches inches okay before we start making holes in our reefs um, let me not get ahead of myself what you may just want to do very quickly is go outside stick this in your um stick this in some extra floral foam that you're not going to use um or into some styrofoam so that uh it will be standing up and you'll be able to spray paint this. So I spray painted mine silver and I used the Rust-Oleum 2X um, metallic silver. So Rust-Oleum 2X metallic silver, you can also purchase this at Walmart. And I took this outside and I sprayed all three dowels silver, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna get covered over. And I also sprayed my disc. This disc is from Michaels and it retails for $12. If you use a 50% off coupon, you can get it for six bucks. And I'll leave the size and everything below. So I also went ahead and applied a nice coat of the silver um, spray paint also to this wooden disc, okay? So we're gonna set these two things aside for just a second. And we're gonna go back to our floral wreath. So what you want to do is go ahead and make three holes. And you'll be doing that by sticking your dowels into these holes, okay? So we're going to be making three holes in the shape of a pyramid or a diamond, okay? Because we only have three dowels, we're going to make three holes, all right? So you want to do it in the shape of a diamond so that it lines up pretty decently, okay? So that's what you want to do with the first one is go ahead find out where you want these holes to be so there these two holes should be right across from each other and then the bottom one should be in the center okay so you can get a piece of cardboard and draw a diamond and then use that as a guide but you want these two holes to be directly across from each other and then the third hole to be in the middle so once you feel good about the placement of where you put the holes in the reef then you want to take your wreath and put it on top of the other wreath. But how I did it was there is a line here where they actually put the foam into a mold. And so what I tried to do is line up that line, that mold line, on both of my wreaths so that I can kind of feel like when I set one on top of the other, they're both the same size all the way around. Okay, just in case there's any imperfections. And what you want to do is get a piece of wire, preferably something really sturdy. You can probably break off a coat hanger wire, um, anything that will puncture through uh, both of these uh, pieces of styrofoam. And just take your wire and push it all the way through down to the next um, reef, okay? And that's going to give you your, your mark where you should make your other hole onto the second um, reef. So you want to take this, um, take a wire, you can even get it off of a floral, a floral stem wire and just push down and make another hole, push down into the other wreath, make a hole and push down into the other wreath and make a hole. Okay. And that should pretty much mark 
where you need to make your holes in the second reef so that they both line up, okay? I didn't do it that way. I should have did it that way. That would be would have been the smartest way to do it. I kind of did it a little differently. So mine's is just a tad bit off. But I feel like if you did that, you would definitely know exactly where to put that that hole in your second reef, okay? And it would line up very nicely, all right? So that's what you want to do. And then, um, as you can see, I made a little Google with this one, but that's okay. So you should have um, the same holes, the same exact holes in the top reef as well, okay? That second reef. When you get ready to make your holes with your dowels, because that's how you're gonna be making your holes, is once you make that little pin mark um, with the floral wire, then you wanna go ahead and make your hole. And you make that by pushing down your dowel into the styrofoam, okay? Just like that. That's how you're gonna make all your holes in the reefs. But you don't wanna push all the way down. Um, if you make a mistake and push all the way down, you can push the floral foam right back in there, okay? And then just use some hot glue to secure it. But you want to kind of get down as much as you can, but not puncture through the, the reef, okay? So that's how you're going to make your holes. You're going to take your dowel and just push it right where you have your demarcation, right where you marked it with your floral stem. And both of these should line up from the top and the bottom, they should line up, okay? So I've already done that just to save time. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take one of our reefs and we are going to hot glue this down to that uh, wooden disc that I showed you. So here's our wooden disc. We're gonna get our glue gun and we're actually going to glue this down because this we need some weight to support this thing so that it doesn't tip over. And that's what this disc does. It gives this um, project, gives this stand some weight. So um, what I'm gonna do is it has um, a smaller disc attached to a larger disc so that it's like a little beveled effect. But I don't wanna use this part. I'm gonna flip it over and this part is just flat. And that's the part that I'm going to glue my reef onto. So I'm going to go ahead and get my hot glue together right here. And I'm going to start applying my hot glue. Okay, so I have attached my floral foam to my wooden base. And um, even if it gets a little sloppy, don't worry about it because it's not going to show anyway. So um, just as long as you feel that the... Um, the reef is firmly on the wooden base you're good to go now we're going to take our wooden dowels and put them in the holes that we made that we uh pre-punctured and made and um i'm just going to sit them down here and we're going to secure them with hot glue so i just want to kind of look at my placement again real quick and I'm just kind of checking the top of them to make sure that they're even. And I'm going to push my camera back a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and add some glue in here, some hot glue, so we can secure it. Because without that, it's going to move around a lot. So I'm actually just going to put the hot glue inside of the floral foam and then push down my dowel in there. And then you can also add a little bit around the bottom. So as you can see, I have added some glue also around the dowel just to keep it nice and secure. Now we're going to go ahead and attach our top reef, okay, if you can see that. And we're going to now attach our top reef, okay. Alright guys, so I had to work pretty quickly putting that um, on because of the hot glue. I had to go ahead and add, put it on as quickly as I could. And then what you want to do is make adjustments just to make sure it's as even as it can be. It doesn't have to be super, super even. Um, only because we're going to be filling that up with flowers. So it doesn't have to be like totally, totally straight. But get it as straight as you can. 
Okay guys, so once again, you can use a leveler to see if you got everything straight, if you put the dowels in there so that it's straight. Um, that is a handy tool to use if you care to do that. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far. This looks really, really good. Um, the next thing that I am going to do is I'm going to add this floral foam. And this is what that looks like. And I'm going to add this to the top um, so that I can attach things inside of our floral wreath stand. All right, guys, so I got it in there. I pushed it, sandwiched it down in there, okay? So I did get it in there some kind of way. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cover this over. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to use this 9 by, I believe this is 9 by 12 foam sparkling uh, silver foam sheet. And you can get this from the craft store or you can get this from Walmart. And I think they're like 70 cent, 72 cents each. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down on my floral foam. Now what we're going to start doing is I'm going to start uh, cutting away some of this adhesive diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to use this adhesive wrap to cover my, uh, my dowels. Okay, so remember we spray painted it and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover over our dowels. So I cut rows of eight out. And hopefully one sheet will do one column. I hope so. So actually, guys, you really only need to cut seven rows. After I wrap this around our dowel, I found out that you're, you really only need to cut seven rows. Okay. So um, what you want to do is start with the, uh, you want to do it so that you kind of roll the seams around to the back. And then when you lay this down, you want to make sure that you um, you are centering it to the best of your ability. Okay, so just try to be as neat as you can because it will make the product look a lot better if you take your time and be neat. It's looking really good. We're going to go to um, our middle section right now so that this will actually be three tiered. And we're going to go ahead and add a smaller floral wreath to our project. So we're going to add this uh, Dollar Tree floral wreath to the middle of our project. It's a little bit smaller than the one that we bought from um, Walmart. Is we're going to add on some of these round uh, double-sided foam you can get this from the Dollar Tree and I put it in three spaces um, because this foam is just a little bit smaller uh, than it should be to be able to kind of sort of stick in here and I'm going to get this situated in here for you guys Okay, so I'm pretty much eyeballing this thing and just giving it a once over and looking at it to see if it's straight. And again, you can use your leveler for this as well. But I'm going to keep eyeballing this thing and adjusting it a little bit at a time to um, make sure that it's straight. So my leveler is saying that it's pretty straight. Okay, so we're going to go with this placement and now I'm going to start to add the hot glue just to secure it. Okay guys, so this is it. Our stand is ready. It is ready to go. It is nice and firm and everything is where it should be. We have a nice piece of wedding furniture here <laughs> and now it is ready to be embellished. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding 
yes my hydrangeas okay and these are hydrangeas from the Dollar Tree I have used them in several projects so this is what that looks like and these are from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, adding my hydrangeas okay so we're gonna add them to the top to the middle section and to the bottom Alright guys, so this is what it's looking like and it is absolutely gorgeous. I have finished putting all of the Dollar Tree hydrangeas on. It is beautiful, let me tell you. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what bride would love this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more things to it. I'm going to add some of these beautiful white roses um, in different areas in the arrangement. Okay guys, so I also added this white rose from um, Joann's Fabrics. You can find something similar, similar to this in any of the craft stores. And I also added this very cream rose and this is from Hobby Lobby. They carry this all year round. Okay, so I just pretty much just sprinkled the flowers in at the top and uh, just kind of got them in in different places. Um, I didn't record it because this is something that's really easy to do. You just take the flowers and work them in around the wreath. I didn't think I needed to record that. I want to try to keep this video as short as possible. Alright everyone, so our last step is to go ahead and to add our crystals. And I'm going to be doing that by using this fielding pin. I think that's what they call it. I just kind of got stuck on calling it a fielding pin. But I'm going to be using that to attach all of my crystals. Alright everyone, so I wanted to show you what I'm going to be hanging inside of our triple floral wreath. And these are some crystals that I created. And I'm going to be hanging them up uh, inside of our floral wreath. And basically this is some Christmas crystals, hanging crystals that I got from um, eBay. I use Christmas ornaments to hang on the bottom of these. And these are Christmas ornaments that I got from Walmart a couple of years back. And all I basically did was just hot glue it. Put some fishing line on it and just hot glue it to my uh, crystal strands or crystal beads. And here's some more. Those are from Hobby Lobby. So um, these things are really easy to kind of jerry-rig with some hot glue and some fishing wire or some clear cord. So that's what I'm going to be hanging inside, okay? I'm going to be attaching the crystals with the little fielding pins right up here in this area um, where we put the styrofoam. So I'm just going to take my little fielding pin and I'm going to take my crystal and probably come down about two spaces and just push my fielding pin up in here and there's one crystal hanging already okay guys so our shorter crystals are up and now i'm going to be adding the longer ones and this is the one that i have the um christmas ornament on the bottom of so I'm going to be adding that as well and I'm going to be using once again our little fielding pins. Alright guys, so the first part of our three tier floral arrangement is I hung the crystals up. They look absolutely amazing, gorgeous. Um, I put this big pin up here. Um, that pin is from TotallyDazzled.com and it's absolutely beautiful. And I thought it would tie in nicely with the uh, crystals. So here is the first set of crystals. And then when we go down to the lower part of our full arrangement, here is the other part of the crystals. And that is absolutely gorgeous. Now the last thing that I'm going to do, and final thing, and this is optional, is I took um, one of the serving pans 
uh, that has like a mirrored effect to it from uh, the Dollar Tree and I cut it down into a circle and we're just going to stick this down in here to kind of cover up that board and you get a nice reflective quality in there and that covers up the rawness of the um, the board that we had in there so that takes care of that you can also put a um, candle right in that area matter of fact let me do that real quick okay guys so I totally forgot about this Christmas ornament that I had that I attached to some crystal beading and so I decided to just suspend it in with the rest of the crystals I think this looks amazing and I went ahead and I add a little push light just to give it some more effect and uh, I think it looks awesome I'm not going to do anything else to it we're done here and I'm going to pan back so you can see the whole thing and it is absolutely gorgeous so we are done here and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe don't forget to share this video don't forget to like and also don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms please follow me on Facebook um, join my Facebook group and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram okay guys so I will see you in the next DIY video Take care. Bye-bye.